Just out of curiosity, can we go backwards? Is that a thing? I would like to go back a little bit, if you allow me. Because I would like to buy the broadsword from the smith. Hey, man. If our quarries were in the same as Benedicta Harmon's, then we've got a world of trouble waiting for us in Lost Wing. I've got you on my side, right? And what do you want? Ask about you. Taking an interest, are you? Wondering why such a comely, cultured lady would cast her lot with this rabble? Because she's got a special arrangement with a rabble rouser, that's why. I scratch Sid's back, and he scratches mine. Use me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I ask. And to sweeten the deal... He's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill. And there is no shortage of them, believe you me. It's a nice little hideout for everyone to just, you know, if you don't belong elsewhere... Come, come here. Longsword! Why don't we get this one? Uh, wait. Finished, are ya? But I would rather see if I can make it myself first, because I think that costs a little bit less, right? Well? What's that for, India? Yeah, I can make it. I can make it myself. Should last you a good while. Good. Wolf skin sash. Mm, another belt. Okay. No scratches, right? Iron bracers, increasing my defense by eight. Or this one, traveler's band. Oh, I don't have enough sharp fangs. I think I'm good for now then. I can make this one. Frozen tears are kind of rare though. Do I want to spend it like that? Well, we'll get more of where they came from. Bad, if I do say so myself. So there's also a reinforce menu at the top. Oh, the plus ones, we can make it plus two or something. Longsword. Oh, we can make it longsword plus two. Which uses the longsword plus one. You can thank me later. Okay. Dress to the fives. Only the fives? <laughs> Wolfskin sash. I'm okay, let's try using some of this stuff first. Don't invest too much into it. Compare gear. I see, okay. That it? <clears throat> cool, thanks. Fine. Not much around here, I imagine. The faucets. Hey, you weren't here before. What are you gawping at, newcomer? Never seen a man work with his hands? Well, you best get used to it if you're thinking of staying. Oh, if he was just- if Clive was just a little prince back in Rosaria, he wouldn't have to do anything, but I imagine he's seen a lot of stuff over the past 13 years that he's not really snobby like that. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. Okay! <laughs> oh, I'm only teasing. We feed the hands to the dogs. Oh, okay. That's reassuring. <laughs> You're leaving? Already? Yep. Well then, stay safe. I'll check Karen again. Look what the curl dragged in. Coin purse weighing you down. I do got a good bit of money. Imperial Infantry Blade. This is selling. I can sell stuff. I can sell... <gasps> but that's my beginning sword. Do we have a storage? Do we ever get full? No. F the Imperial. Sell this crap. How do I sell it? You got how else? F the Imperial. Can I have more than one belt? Wait, wait, wait. Can I have more than one belt? Maybe I can. <laughs> no, I can only have one belt. Right, I got scared because the defense... Oh, the defense minus 13 is talking about if I equip this instead of what I have right now. Okay, okay. I thought it was like minus 13 if you sell it. Alright, there we go. 
sell the Imperial crap. Yes? What? If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. I don't identify with any of that crap. You got out else? Get out of here. Wait, is that the only bracer we have? I hope I'm not. I'm thankful you got that much. Yeah. The guild bug sells for 200. I don't need money right now. I'll worry about money once we actually need all? to think about that. While we're here, let's read a few active Time Lord entries. The Dominant of Fire. A mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate, immediately before the appearance of the second Icon of Fire. The very icon that slew the heir to the Ducal throne. Clive believes this man to be the Dominant, who murdered his brother, and has sworn to take his revenge. The way this is worded is so careful. This guy appeared before the second icon of fire appeared. It doesn't say this guy is the second icon. And Clive believes this guy is a dominant. It doesn't mean he is a dominant. Hmm. Do you think we should go and help? I still think a lot of circumstantial evidence points to it really just being Clive, but <sighs> I don't know. If Joshua got the dominant as part of being the bloodline, then a second fire dominant coming from the same bloodline seems to sort of make sense in a twisted kind of way. Good day. Maybe. Or... Hey, hey, hey. Harpocrates. So there is one specific thing I want to um, look up. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Really cool that we can actually just search. Search by keyword. Oh, I thought we could type it in. I want to look up Blight. Do we have an entry on Blight? Because I want to know about... the Blight. <laughs> Maybe not just looking at it like this. History? Natural history? Eh, I'll look at it normally. Benedicta Harmon. Commander of the Kingdom of Elode's elite intelligencers and a true scholar of the Blade, who leads her loyal minions from the front. After attending the negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zernitra stronghold, where she crushed the hopes of the Republican army while encouraging those of Hugo Kupka, she parted company with her liege lord in order to lead a secret incursion into Imperial territory. She was hanging out with Hugo and stuff, the... the Titan dominant? But she herself, is she also a dominant? She has some wind powers for sure. Oh. Yeah. Her liege, Barnabas. She also shares a bond with Hugo Kupka. Lay of the Land. Mysteries of the Realm. Interesting. The Mother Crystals, enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics that the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each Mother Crystal, and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. It's like a gigantic resource, basically. Okay. Crystal. One of the most valuable materials known to mankind, thanks to its ability to channel ambient ether from the air, allowing those without an innate power to do so, to cast magics. And as most Valisthians cannot live without magic. What does that mean? Cannot live without? Its supply and distribution is heavily regulated by governments across the Twins. A given shark can only channel a certain amount of ether before it shatters, so the need for new crystals is incessant. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that people with special magical powers are all enslaved right now because if you look at it, they have more powers than average people. And the average people are definitely imprisoning them because they're afraid of them. But if they actually wanted to start an uprising, I feel like they could. Magic. The art of channeling ether to make one's imagination manifest. This can take the aspect of one of the eight elements. Fire, water, wind, earth, ice, thunder, light, and dark. Or more rarely, be unaspected. While bearers and dominants can cast spells at will, others require a crystal to do so. Magic is a part of everyday life for the people of Valisthea, making it all but unlivable when they are deprived of its gift. It's a convenience thing, right? There's no such thing as, oh, if we don't have magic, we'll die. That's not, that's not a thing. Aether. 
The life force of the land and the source of all magic. The amount of ether a spell consumes depends on its strength, with those manifesting more potent forces over a wide area coming at a greater cost. Larger crystals can channel more ether than smaller ones, and thus can be used to cast more magical, powerful magics. One might use a small ration shard to grill a fish, but would require a large municipal crystal to fire a blacksmith's forge. Not the one here, it's not powered by bearers. That's what the guy said. You know the blacksmith? We mentioned before that he doesn't have a mark, but he has a gigantic scar around his forehead. I wonder if his mark was on the forehead instead of his cheek? And then he took it off and that's why there is a gigantic mark there. Blessing of the Phoenix. The boon Joshua bestowed upon his brother upon Clive's ordination as first shield, allowing him to wield fire aspect and magic without a crystal. It has long been custom in Rosaria for the dominant of the Phoenix to share a part of their power in this way, performing this rite of rejuvenation upon those they appoint as their protectors so that they might serve them better. <clears throat> but I don't even have this. I thought in the beginning that Joshua is the dominant of fire and then I kind of got the crappy end of the stick where I got a little bit of firepower from being born in the bloodline. But now you're telling me it's actually because Joshua gave it to me, which is a bit... I'm not sure how to feel about that. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? It is what it is. Ah, I was kind of interested in this too. Priming. This is a word they mentioned when we first picked up Jill. The act of a dominant transforming their living flesh into that of their icon. Dominants most often prime during times of war, using the immense strengths of their icons to turn the tides of battle. Though it is usually done deliberately, the dominant remaining in control of the icon even when primed, on occasion a dominant will lose control of their powers and see their icon run riot. Which is what happened to the second dominant, a fire, right? To the point that if it is Clive, he wasn't even aware of what was happening. Brand. The mark applied to the cheeks of bearers, identifying them as something other than human. Wow. The great nations of Alistia have a long-standing accord to brand their bearers in this way, that the slaves might be traded across borders. So all the nations of Alistia have agreed that these people are slaves. That's horrible. Newborn babes are checked at birth. Those who are found to be bearers being branded and taken into the custody of the state. How do they get checked? Rarely, bearers evade this test, either because their parents hide them, the testers are lax in their duties, or their powers do not awaken until later. Yet most do not remain unbranded for long. Hmm. We'll be back. You are always welcome, Clive. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> this guy is still learning about dung. It's fantastic. I think we can probably get out again. This is just us being able to go back to the previous area. Alright. Let's go, Sid. There's a good girl. Hungry Do I actually have to walk here or could I just open this open world map? Oh yeah, we can just do it here. Aura Bell Downs, Southern Sandbreck. The idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated unless one knows where to look. The way they have the text like that kind of reminds me back in season one of Game of Thrones when they used to put the locations. They stopped doing it in later seasons though. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? In the Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Are dominance this easy to find? We're still trying to look for... Oh, whoa. Obelisks. Allows Clive to travel quickly to the location via the world map and local map. You just need to approach it. Does that mean this is fallen technology then? Louder than words. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Ah, 
how does that work? It just does. Like, you can open the world map, and then go to another Robolisk, and then go straight back here next time? Makes sense. Oh, hello. Hi, buddy. <sighs> Why? Wow, no, no, I want to pet you. Why can't I pet you? Fetch. <laughs> Cutie pie. It's dark. Late at night. What was that? Why am I running faster? Oh. Gautland's Bales. Aurabelle Downs. Kinda wanna look around here. Oh. Don't let him see you. They cannot see me. <laughs> We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Valley Matter. Crops. It's just crops here. There is a house over there. We should probably check that out too. How do I do that really fast running thing? Just oh, just by continually figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Ah, uh, I think we know the answer to that. <laughs> they haven't seen us yet. I wanted to check the house. There's a small village here. With... Careful. Nothing. Hi, buddy. I can't imagine those soldiers wouldn't notice we're here. <laughs> you know, just a random house. I thought there might be more stuff here. Okay. Hello, soldiers. Do you want me to pass you on purpose? Well, why would I pass up on the experience? <laughs> Will we be alerting people if we take too long? Let's not take too long then. Look, precious experience. Hang off. More were looters. But why? What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. We're in Sandbrick right now, so they're coming here to um, spy, invade in the future, or information gathering in general. Feels like it's the kind of time where there should be a lot of spy activities going on. Lost Wing. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? <laughs> Subtle. Get him to use his fire powers. Looks like. All we know is that he has a hood. 
The person we're looking for has a hood. The hanged man? Is that a pub? That is not the first time I've played a game this year with a pub called the hanged man. What a weird coincidence. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? Do you want it to be populated with a bunch of people? Oh. You miss me? I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you know? Yeah, we're, we're looking around. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> that sounds like a child. What the hell? Why is there a kid here? Is that a monster pretending to be a kid trying to trick me? Hey. It's alright. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... We're the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... In the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church then. Okay, nothing weird. I was just being way too suspicious. Church is that way. Just want to look around here in general. Lots of places we can look around, right? Yup. The church. Hey. The church, I know. I'm one step ahead of you. You go in through the front, I'll take the rear. Anyone stands in our way, the other can stab him in the back. Is that the back? This is the front? Okay. Wait, I kind of want to look around here though. Does that actually wrap to the back of the church? No, they can't have left the village. No, this is just a random back area. Okay. Oh. I knew I came for something. That's it. Crowning achievement. My entire career. Let's go. Anybody at church? Man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. What's happening here? Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's alright, he's with me. Oh, about the yelling? <laughs> Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was old in a sign. If a dominant doesn't want to reveal themselves, they can hide it, right? I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. 
That's why I wonder about how they brand people. How can you make them use magic? There must be some way. Because people, there's no way they're willingly being branded. They must have thought about everything already. Hurry up, Clive. You gotta do your little win thing you were doing earlier. Is this the fastest I can run? You can do better, can't you? Did I forget how to? <laughs> Any word from the scouts? <laughs> Not yet, my lady, but we have the Dominant's Companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Dominant's Companion? Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Care Novent. Some may still be worth keeping should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. They're looking for a Dominant, too. Which one? Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To Our Lady of the Wind! And the King! Ugh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! Oh. And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy. <laughs> Damn. No room to be stupid around Lady Benedicta. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Wait, you're gonna go full out? Boo. Ooh. Yeah, I think she's definitely a dominant. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but she's not becoming it, though. Dance, Ooh! What is that thing? If this means what I think it does, then Sid has some explaining to do. God. A little. Get them, boy. Don't let them get away. Ooh. Honestly, I don't think the 30 FPS. <laughs> I hate to harp on about stuff like this because, you know, but it does affect the flow of combat. I'm on graphics mode right now. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but I've seen a lot of reviews basically say that this is probably for the best because the stability of performance mode really does affect things. Let's go. Come on. Keep your distance, boy. Gerada. She just summoned it out of nothing. Cleric's medallion increases healing potency of potions. Again, we're the toothing people. But I'm assuming that's not like the wind summon. I don't know the wind summon. You've got some fight in you. 
Even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. Oh! So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? He's from Walode. I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. <laughs> Say it right in front of the enemy, why don't you? Always something, isn't there? Oh wait, that's exactly what you did. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. I think all the factions are not 100% clear to me, but from what I can gather, Sid is... Or he used to be from the same faction as Benedicta. He recruited her, and then he left to start his own little bearer hideout. <laughs> so... It wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. We thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. <laughs> 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 You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat, Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains, it sunders the deep The skies over storm breaks for Clive. And should the Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. His name will live on Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch, and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be its slave, then. Ew. Who's slurping? <sighs> <laughs> Nasty. Meanwhile. Kaer Norvent. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. 
Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? <gasps> Is it the man? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> Is this guy the dominant, though? Is he really? I think that's up for contention. My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Lord Margrace, don't! Margrace? I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. A Lord Margrace. So this guy supposedly is the dominant of Sam Breck? Which is what Benedicta came for? Not sure who the other guy was though. Clive. <laughs> Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Ah. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. This probably leads into the iconic challenge from the demo. Okay, so the Royalists are the Willowed people. The Imperialists are the Holy Empire of Sambrek. I'm not sure if my understanding is fully correct. So, uh, Sambrek, Willowed, Rosaria, I guess, and then whoever else. These are all like, you know, I, I guess everyone hates each other, but we all especially hate the Iron Kingdom. Because the Iron Kingdom were more foreign than everyone else. These kingdoms, they all speak English or whatever language, but they clearly... That's how you know they're the enemy, because they don't speak the same language. <laughs> new stock. As the story progresses, new weapons and items will become available at the Hideaway's trading post. Karen's Toll. Now that's settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. <laughs> When's Jill gonna wake up? 
She's been resting for so long, it feels. Hold up, hold up, just let me look around. Oh, what about... Lost Wing. A settlement located in central Sambrek, on the northeastern edge of the Great Wood. Having initially found prosperity as a stopover point for traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it, and eventually fell off the map entirely. The village is built both in and around fallen ruins that the people of Lost Wing claim was once called an airship. Oh, interesting. An airship. Flying technology. Huh. Care Norvind. An imperial stronghold located along the southern fringes of Sambraqua territory, far from its capital of Oriflam. It occupies a key strategic position adjacent the Crystal Belt, and is suitably formidably fortified as a result. Within its walls, there are living quarters, a church, a jail, and sufficient storehouses to see the occupants through a lengthy siege. Care Norvind. Did this change? Nope. Do you mind if I just look around a bit first? Is that chill? Kind of curious about that hanged man thing, huh? I don't think we can go. Hey! I want to go over there. You following me, Sid? Hi. You're the kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. Oh, you're the kid. You're the kind man who saved mummy. No worries. Thank you. Oh, this goes out? We'll go out later. Do we have to go out? I want to look around. Well, you know what? Let's go out right now then. We're not going to leave. We're just going to walk around. Quite late at night. Oh, we get to walk around the whole place again. I want to check out the hanged man thing, if possible. Damn royalists. We'll need every Trocobona Valley to clear this. Royalists. Hmm. His radiance is the king of Sambraqua. Everyone has a different name for their king and all that crap. But Sambraqua... Just from the descriptions and stuff, the Holy Empire, his radiance, it feels like they're supposed to be prosperous and related to light. Oh. Look, they're using crystals. They're using it as a light source? Does everything truly depend on magic? Everything? Everyday life? Bloody cowards! Setting upon us after dark! I'd like to see them try again when the sun's high! This village normally is just a place that bearers. Uh, they don't really say specifically, but there is a lot of bearers here. It's just a village. But Benedicta was here to look for the dominant, which she found. Well, she found a hooded man. No one knows who he is yet. Lord Margrace? A lord? It brings up a good question, though. She was saying, hey, why are you not fighting back? You're a dominant. And I think in that specific situation, that guy not being able to use any of the powers is a pretty big possibility. But in general, how do you kill? How do you capture a dominant? Because they are so powerful. Unless, I guess it would depend on stuff like how much control do they have of their powers. Because if not much, then yeah. Can people always change at will? Can they always channel their powers at will? Maybe that's not for certain. Where the heck am I going? I don't know. Whoa! I'm at the hanged man. It's not a pub. Histo- Okay. No? I don't know what I picked up. That's it, though. I came all this way just to pick this up. I think it's the hanged man thingy. Uh, the dead of night. The dominant of fire has fallen into the hands of Benedicta's intelligencers, and Clive, Sid, and Gav must scramble to gather information on their quarry's whereabouts. Yep, yep. These are done. 
Yeah, I just don't know what I picked up earlier, that's all. It's kind of curious. Hello! Hello, Torgol. How you doing? Hmm. Sid's like, come on, we gotta go talk to Quentin. And I'm just going all over. Quest destination nearby? Oh, but you mean like, probably on a different elevation, I guess. I'm so lost, and it's so dark, too. <laughs> I can barely see. Something, something medieval times, they barely have electricity. <laughs> they don't have electricity, it's just fire. And crystals. Reading scrolls by crystal light, literally. Hello, Quentin! Uh, Karen. Is Karen here? Karen's toll? Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Are you Karen's toll? Thank you. What the heck is that? Idyllis of the Empire Orchestrian role. A curiosity. Tattered slip of parchment upon which has been hastily scrawled several bars of music and the title. Oh, it's a, it's a song. That's really expensive, my gosh. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Thank you. Hello. Everyone's using crystals to see. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? What, him? You won't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. Doesn't everybody here? When last I checked, the mere thought would only would trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. <sighs> Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. <laughs> they bring the music back. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Oh, the hanged man. May the mothers guide you. The map doesn't show elevation. What is it? This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. And oh. what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. I thought people here were relatively friendly. Weren't there bearers around here as well? Let's see if this thing really works. Whoa, it's like a king's order or something. You have to listen to this guy. Should have gone this and then walked around, huh? <clears throat> well, let's try it out. And that's all you can remember. Think hard. I already told you. He was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. 
The only thing that maybe we can confirm is that it's a man, and even at that, that's not... That's not a given. <laughs> we didn't see anything about him. Ah. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Both, actually. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have, though. Thank you. Ah, Dominant of Fire. It's really THE Dominant of Fire. Have you seen THE Dominant of Fire? Because as far as we know, there was only one. But I think for Clive, that kind of wording is probably something he doesn't want to use, especially because to him, the Dominant of Fire is Joshua. And to say THE would be like... Acknowledging this guy's supremacy over him. What would the King Walud want with our tiny village anyway? Walud! Surely they have bearers enough of their own back in Ash. They want the dominant, and they want it now. As do I. Uh, what a mess. Hmm. Yeah. This is the beginning. Oi, how about some light over here? It's black as Odin's bum hole. Whoa, Odin's gotta wash his bum hole then. <laughs> Mind your step. The royalists didn't do as the courtesy of tidying up when they left. Can these people go tell tell on the royalists to the king? The Sambraqua king? His radiance? Or maybe he, well, he probably doesn't care because these people are poor and stuff. Master Quinton has asked that we work through the night to undo the chaos the royalists wreaked. But I fear dawn will have long since broken before the true damage is mended. I feel like the king should care that, hey, the royalists are wrecking... They're wreaking havoc in your land. Nice oranges. Why are people not using fires? This seems... It seems like you can use this as a light too, but no, everyone's using crystals. Oh, I guess crystals are a bit safer. You're the kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. No worries. The hanged man is always watching. <laughs> as if he had aught better to do. How do I... where do I see it? The seal marks its bearer as a trusted ally of Quentin of Lost Wing. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Well, thank you very much. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today. Getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. <laughs> Poor buggers. These others. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. The maid must have been the person in the room then, right? The one on the floor? I thought it was a young boy, but... Maybe a maid. Hmm. Sid, found anything? Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. Kind of, not really. There was a maid. 
So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? Mm. There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Okay. Sounds good. <sighs> Maybe he can summon fire, but we saw that Benedicta was interrogating them. That part, they were definitely together. Quentin, the inscrutable landlord of Lost Wings Tavern and the leader of the village. Marks. Emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for the rich and powerful of Alistia to pin such marks to bearers in their possession, that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. Alliance. Those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause. There are many in the twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it, knowing what fate awaits them should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by stolas, monetary assistance, or direct action. Wonder what the population percentage is. Huh. How many bearers? How many non-bearers? Oh, this just changed. Hold up. Having initially found prosperity, fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it, eventually fell off the map. Presently, its obscurity serves as a cover to mask its burgeoning status as a safe haven for bearers who work the nearby vineyards for Quentin, elderman and co-conspirator of Sid's, while casks of gauntlet rouge age and lost wing sellers provide the village with much-needed income. Hmm. Looking forward to meeting the Dominant. If we can. Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Damn. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. <laughs> He's helping Sid. More like Sid has to help him. following evening. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. Let's go then. The road's south then. Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate your out with the Royalists' barricade earlier. You don't have to do it. We'll see you the rest. Thank you. I just noticed something that's very different about the voice acting direction for FF16 compared to the other ones I've played. You know, the other ones have a um, much more japanese script, and then I guess the localization keeps a lot of that. And so, especially in like FF7 Remake, there was a lot of the random noises like, oh, ooh, like, oh, like every everything had a noise. There is a lot less of it here. I mean, it clearly the vibe is much more Western, which I think 
probably accounts for partially why there is so much hype around it right now, because previously, yeah, a lot of people love Final Fantasy, but I think a good portion of people still saw it as like a weeb anime thing. But now, whoa, it's like Game of Thrones. And mature. The Mysteries of Vindication While some winemakers will remove the skins of grape after pressing, Leaving both skin and seeds in the juice to commingle creates a must that is better suited for extended aging, ultimately resulting in a more refined wine. Then once the wine calms and settles sufficiently, the skins are removed, and the must is then transferred to wooden barrels of oak or chestnut, which, by allowing air to leach into the wine, impart deepened levels of complexity, introducing rich aromas and improving texture, all while lessening bitterness. You know how they make wine? I actually don't know if this is the case, but you know, I, I've seen on TV, they have a whole barrel of grapes, and then they have a guy stand on the grapes barefoot. I don't know why it's always the feet, and I don't know why it's bare, but I, I've seen that. And that does not make me want to drink wine. <laughs> Nothing down here but dust and cobwebs. Unless you really help me get rid of them. Yeah, why not? Anything for a pretty lady. Where am I? I'm going further and further away. For now, because I'm... Ooh. Cellar passage. What's going on here? Are we meant to be here? This is leading to a dead end. Better be a good thing here. Is this a shortcut? How did I end up here? I just did. <laughs> oh, this is where we fought! <laughs> this is where we fought earlier. Damn it. Okay, I gotta go back. Well, unless if you have stuff here, which I... don't think I see? No, okay. Yeah, 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 look, Clive is doing the windy... Hey, what gives? Keep doing it! Keep doing it! Do I not even understand how to run? The basic run? Maybe we can only do that in open fields? It doesn't seem like we can do it otherwise. Am I back to where I need to be? What the heck? Now I'm like... What? It didn't seem like there was a path anywhere here, though. Yeah, like, it, it'll say stuff. This map doesn't show elevation. It doesn't. I've gotta find my way around. Oh, can I... Mm. Yeah, it's upstairs. Ah... But we learn more about how to make wine. <laughs> That's good. What the heck is this? Okay, now we're on the right level. Oh! Oh, the church! The hymns of Grieger. And thus did Grieger summon together her two and seventy spirits of light, and tell them of the holy heralds she would send to the world below, where there was much strife and suffering, for which she wept. Rejoice, she said, for my heralds, which are a part of me, and who are me, shall be as bread unto the starving, and as water unto the thirsty, and shall bring light where there is only darkness. Weep not, my children, for hope is not yet lost. Keep faith in your hearts, and the goddess Griga will not forsake you. Rieger, part of the religion here. In a place with magic. Like, magic is widespread here. Kind of wonder how religion fits in. A dominant versus Grieger, who's more important. Come back to me, my darling. I can't bear another night without you. We'll get them back. A bunch of people were taken by Benedicta. The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Cairnorvan. 
You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? Of course I'm going there. Let's go. Take this off. 